To make the 75th anniversary party extra special, the Fat Controller sent out invites to engines from across the mainland that had previously featured in the Thin Clergyman books. Only two were able to accept their invitations, however, and the first to arrive was Gordon's brother, Flying Scotsman, or Scott as he's often called, with a tour train from the mainland. When he arrived at the big station, he saw Philip shunting a strange-looking wagon nearby. Scott instantly recognized what it was. Oh my! A brake tender! I haven't seen those in years. Whose brake tender is that, Philip? A brake tender? pondered Philip. What's that? It's that thing you've been pushing around, Shilly, laughed the voice. The voice belonged to Burko as he pulled into the yards to collect it along with a coal train. Oh, so that's what I was shunting. Strange. It doesn't look like a tender. It's got no coal or water. Burko and Scott chuckled. So did Christopher, who came to see Scott arriving earlier. It is a tender, but instead of coal and water, it's filled with scrap steel to help with the weight, and as a result, increased the brake force. Although I'm surprised to see this one still on Sodor. Actually, Christopher, the original one was scrapped, and so a new one was built, replied Burko. It's a shame, he went on sighing, because this has brought me a whiff of nostalgia. I'll remember the other railway giving me one back when I was brand new, when we were using non-fitted wagons here on Sodor. Could you tell us more about that time, please, Boko? asked Christopher. The others joined in as well, asking in unison. Well, all right. I've got a bit of time before I head to Vickishtown. So this was the story Boko told about him and the brake tender. A railway inspector came to the island of Sodor to see how the line was getting on. While he was looking at the yards, he saw Boko rolling by with some China clay trucks from Edwards Branch Line. The inspector turned to Sir Charles Topham Hatt. Sir Charles, were those unfitted wagons that your Metropolitan Vickers was pulling? Yes. Why? You should know that a diesel like him doesn't have the same level of braking capacity as a steam engine. How long has that diesel been here? Just this week, Inspector. He has been working on Edward's line most of the time. Even so, Sir Charles, you need a brake tender. I'll call head office once I get back to the mainland and see if they can spare you one. But apart from that, sir, your railway is still tip-top. The next day, Sir Charles Topham had asked Boko to meet him in the shunting yards at Napford. Hello, sir. Did you want to see me? Is it about taking Bill and Ben's trucks around and asking, sir? I didn't know they were theirs. I... It's not that, Boko, replied Sir Charles calmly. I've asked you to come here to show you our newest addition to the railway. Boko, this is your new brake tender. 
A what? Sir Charles explained everything that the inspector had told him. In the end he said, So I want you to take a good train later today towards Batter and Furness to test his new brake tender out. Yes, sir, replied Burko. When he returned to the yards for his goods train, he couldn't spot the brake tender anywhere. Where's the brake tender? he asked as he coupled to the train. Then he saw Duck shunting it towards him. Burko was surprised. That's not how tenders are supposed to work. Isn't it supposed to be behind me? Just like Gordon, Henry and James? I had the same question, replied Duck. But the fat controller told me that it has to be in front of you. That's how the engines on the mainland do it. But how am I supposed to see? Easy. I'll be your eyes. So Boko rolled away with his train, although he was feeling very embarrassed. At first, no one teased him. But when he approached a red signal at Thomas's junction, what is that? It's called a bright tender. Thomas laughed at the idea. You silly engine, tenders aren't supposed to be at the front. They're supposed to be at the back like a real engine. You're not fit to be seen like that. He laughed and he puffed away. Ignore him, Boko. It's only one engine. But he's right. I do look hideous, he sighed crossly. The next day he rolled into the harbour with his brake tender to collect a goods train bound for the mainland. Thomas was there too with his milk train. He kept on teasing Boko and his brake tender. Boko had had enough. He approached a siding and shunted the brake tender crossly into place. Shilly tank engine, shilly brake tender, he scolded. I don't need it. I pulled those non-fitted brake trucks before and I did it fine. I'll show him and that inspector too. He bumped the trucks hard, much to their displeasure. Hey, stop that. Be quiet, he snapped. And when the guard blew his whistle, Boko rolled away. I'll show him. I'll show him. Later, Thomas arrived at the big station, still laughing over his joke about Boko. Gordon was there too with the express. He could see the tank engine laughing and cackling. What's so funny? He asked plainly. It's the tender from that diesel. It's like he's playing steam engine. But Thomas's laughter was short-lived when he saw Gordon glaring crossly at him. Was that the reason why he looked so cross and why he didn't have the brake tender with him? Well, replied Thomas sadly, it's rather rich coming from you. You're the same little engine who once battered a bangy snowplow and got stuck in the snow and Terence had to pull you out, remember? Meanwhile, Boko was rolling along the line with these trucks, feeling very pleased that he didn't have his brake tender. I don't need it, I don't need it, he said proudly. But the trucks were crossed after he barked at them earlier. When we get to the hill, let's give him a thump, they muttered. Boko didn't hear. He was very pleased and full of confidence. Soon they came to the hill. Go faster! Go faster! jeered the trucks. Boko could feel the extra weight being put upon his buffers. His driver applied the brakes, but the trucks were too heavy. Pl 
please stop! 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 He groaned. He now wished he had his brake tender with him. He raced through the station at the bottom of the hill. And as he approached the curb outside the station, Oh no! He wailed. Luckily his driver jumped clear before the crash, but Boko was battered and bruised with the trucks piled up behind him in a field. Ooh, he groaned. Later Thomas arrived at the scene with the breakdown train and... Boko, why didn't you have your brake tender with you? Where is it? It's back in the out of you shining, sir. Why is that? Sir Charles asked sternly. Actually, sir, it's my fault. Sir Charles Hat turned and stared towards Thomas. Then he told him all about how he was teasing Boko. Well, Gordon was right to call you out, and because of that you shall be collecting the two trucks and brake van that ran away earlier. And once you clean this mess up, you'll be shunting trucks around the yards of your branch line until I can trust you again. Now get this mess cleared up! So Thomas did as he was told and then Sir Charles stared towards Boko. As for you, Boko, I'll be sending you to the works to have you mended. We can't have you out of action so soon. Boko beamed. When he was repaired, Boko carried on with his work, and he now knows the importance of his brake tender. And as for Thomas, he shunted trucks for a few weeks on his branch line and understood on that day to never tease Boko about his brake tender again. As time passed, Sir Charles bought him more modern trucks as well as updating some of the non-fitted brake trucks. It is a shame though, the brake tenders were all scrapped. But it's good to see a new one built. This is for the railway museum at Vickerstown. I'm to take it for a display along with the coal for the engines too. That was an interesting story, Boko. Thank you very much, Christopher. And you can put my story in your program as well. Excellent! Now I've got all the stories set. Once I finish writing Boko's story up, I'll be sending these to the printers, ready for the party. Boko smiled happily, and he soon rolled away to the museum with the memories of his original brake tender.